Hi, I'm Jan Potgieter and I'm the Cloud Accounting Manager here at Outsource CFO and today I'm go going to present on one part of a six-part series on business resilience and intelligence. And today's session we're going to look a bit about the cloud. What is it and how does it work in building a resilient strategy? Right, so let's get right into it. Um, so we're all aware of this world pandemic lockdown happening at the moment. A lot of people was forced to uh, adopt a remote work uh, scenario for themselves in a very rapid pace. And the companies that was already adopting a cloud strategy was a lot better off than the most other people because I didn't have information stuck on a piece of paper that's left on the office or you know a piece of software that lives only on a server that they can't get access to um, and also considering the fourth industrial revolution that we're currently a part in adopting a cloud strategy is not just a nice to have but really has become a vital piece of um, information or vital strategy uh, in when building a business that can transcend what is currently happening and allow it to be resilient during this time. So what is the cloud? Well, in short, it's software that lives on the internet, right? It's not a physical program that you download or a CD that you install on your computer, um, but it, you would access it the same way that you would int, uh, go online to Google something, YouTube or some, you know, something in that line. Um, and you would access your software in that way. So maybe you thought about this for a while and you think, okay, yes, I know I need to adopt a cloud-based strategy, but where do you start? Um, so for us at Outsource CFO, we prefer Xero as our backbone, our financial backbone. It's an accounting solution that's very easy to understand, that's adaptable, that's scalable. And if you couple that with a basic online productivity suit, like a Google Business or a Microsoft Office 365, uh, you really get a very good base core to start off your cloud journey on. So why would you need to consider cloud? Well, for me, the biggest thing is access, right? Be able to access your data at any time, at any location, and on any device, as long as you've got an internet connection, right? So maybe you like you're on the go, you like to access your data via a tablet or via a smartphone. You can do that, you know, you can access your zero data. You can look at what was your net profit for the month while standing at the queue at the bank. Or maybe you want to send someone an invoice, um, you know, while you're still, you know, at the job on the site there with the person. And you can make sure that they actually receive it while you're standing there um, and actually be able to collaborate on that. Um, so you don't need a lightning fast fiber connection. Um, you know, a standard one megabit or 3G connection will probably do the job. But the faster, the better. Right. We all like it fast. Uh, so. If I can do a recommendation, see if you can get at least a four or five megabit per second line. I think that would be preferable. So security and backup is always a big concern in this time of hacking and you know you hear all of these cyber attacks happening, um, you know, and especially for something that lives on the internet. And rest assured that Zero uses banking grade in, um, encryption and data security. Um, and also you can add uh, two-factor authentication just as that additional layer as well um, so in short your data is safe ready to be accessed by only the relevant uh, and authorized people who you've given access to uh, and to the certain parts that they need access to um, other major factor to consider in a cloud-based strategy is actually its cost reductions and I know sometimes people look at the the monthly subscription fee and they uh, they wonder, you know, and think it might possibly be more expensive. But actually, if you consider maybe no downtime in, in your service or the very expensive costs involved with upgrading servers and maintaining them in your office and um, and not always getting the best of it, right? Not And now you need extra capacity, you need to increase it. Whereas in a cloud solution, you can scale very quickly quickly for the space and the time that you need and be able to scale down when you don't. Uh, and you get access to world-class infrastructure in the process as well. That was in the past only available for your blue chip high tier companies. 
Um, and then for me, a very important factor when considering the cloud is also your uh, ability to have real-time collaboration, to discuss and collaborate on financial transactions and details that um, if and when they occur, and not weeks or months even after the fact. Um, and then it's also important to say, but you sit with one truth of the information, not various different backups and versions um, that inevitably would lead to data clashes somewhere along the line and then a reconciliation that needs to happen. So all in all, considering business resilience and setting you up for success going into the future, this is something that every business owner needs to seriously consider and evaluate where they are at. So if you're serious about this, you're thinking about taking the plunge and setting you up for success in the future, um, give us a call or, or pop us a message to our CFO and we can see how we can uh, help you get ahead and adopt a cloud strategy for your business. Hey, Lo here, one of the founders of Outsource CFO. If you enjoyed this video, make it official. Click subscribe.